I'm about to go to Bali, Indonesia for the next two to three months with nothing but a carry-on bag and a camera bag. Everything I'm bringing to Bali, all of my clothes are in here. This is my lifeline. And to some of you, this may sound completely impossible. And trust me, I used to be right there with you, but I recently started using the tripped packing system and it has been such a game changer in the way that I pack for my backpacking trips and I can never go back. Before we jump into things, my name is Crosby and I've been traveling the world full time for the last three plus years. You can check out my channel, Crosby Grace Travels, to see my latest solo backpacking trip through Mexico. And like I mentioned, I'm about to go on my next solo trip to Bali, Indonesia. This is actually my first time in Asia ever, so it's gonna be pretty epic. So definitely go check out my channel to follow along on those adventures. But without further ado, let's get into everything I'm packing for Bali, Indonesia. living out of my 55 liter Osprey Fairview backpack for the last few years and it usually doesn't fit into the overhead cabin so I end up having to check it which not only do I have to arrive early to the airport and stay after my flight but it also costs me hundreds of dollars in checked baggage fees and I'm always stressing out that it's not going to make it through my connecting flights into my final destination so I have made it my mission to downsize to a carry-on backpack for this next trip and I'm really excited to see if I can do it so we're going to be on this journey together. What I love about the church packing system is it's really simple and easy to follow. You can get the free downloadable guide in the description below and it basically helps you pack into a carry-on in just three simple steps. So that's what I'm going to be following right now. Step one of this process is to pull everything you need for your favorite day, your most important day, and your travel day. So the first thing we're going to do right now is to dress for my dream day of the trip. So from the time I wake up in the morning until I go to sleep, every article of of clothing and anything I need to pack, accessories, bags, sunscreen, anything like that. Okay, so my dream day of this trip is going to start with an early morning wake up call to go explore some waterfalls, duh. So what I'm gonna wear to this is obviously a bikini. For the hike there, I'm gonna wear over it these black workout shorts and then this loose black tank top as well. That actually isn't technically a workout top. I could wear this with like jean shorts, but it's great to throw over a bikini. And as you're doing this, you don't wanna forget about accessories, bags, sunscreen. So I'm also going to be bringing my Dock and Bay towel. This is sand resistant. It folds up really small, but this actually is a good size. I bring this everywhere I go pretty much. I'm also bringing this Sun Bum sunscreen. It's three fluid ounces since I am not checking my bag. I need to make sure it's under 3.4 fluid ounces. And then I'm also bringing my tripped day pack. This is so amazing. It obviously is so small, so it's really easy to pack in your carry-on, but it opens up into a day pack. And somewhere like Bali, where you're gonna be going on a lot of adventures, you want to have a day pack with you to put all of your things in, like water bottle. This is another thing I'm obviously gonna be bringing is a big reusable water bottle. This one's from Arctic. And of course my go-to hat, I got this from Target. It's really cute. So that is everything I'm going, oh, also can't forget about these. These are so important. These are my holy grail waterproof sandals. They have a Velcro back and I use these on waterfall hikes. Obviously I use them as shower shoes in hostels and I use them like with just a normal outfit because they're actually pretty cute. They're just black sandals. So these are amazing. They are the Reef brand from Amazon. So after my hike is over, I will be going back probably to my co-living and knocking out a few hours of work on my computer. So to do that, I just want to wear something comfy, something loose and you know, good for warm weather. So I have these pink loose shorts. They're super comfortable. They go with a lot with this like little cropped graphic tank top. Obviously this will go with like jean shorts, pants, whatever as well. And then if I feel like throwing something on top, this is like one of my go-to pieces. I actually just thrifted this. It's an old like men's Tommy Bahama just show you it. A button down and I like to wear shirts like these over like an outfit as like a little added layer but also over like a bathing suit or something like that. So this I will wear with a ton of stuff so I'm definitely going to be bringing this. And then after I'm finished working maybe I want to do a little yoga. Maybe I want to do a little workout. So I am bringing these cute little biker shorts. 
The brand is Arola. Yeah, so this with a little white sports bra. This one is from Gymshark. Yeah, this is like a cute little workout outfit. Oh, speaking of which, I guess sneakers will need to go with that. Hold on. So yes, just in case I want to actually do a workout, not just yoga, I'll bring these sneakers. I always bring them anyways for hiking if I'm actually doing like a big hike, not just a waterfall hike. And I always wear these on the plane. So I don't have to worry about packing them. Always wear your bulkiest stuff on the travel day. So yes, this I will be bringing with some socks. And then after I've worked out, gotten some work done, I am gonna wanna go to the beach to watch the sunset and then maybe grab some dinner afterwards. So let's say I'm like actually going somewhere cute because I think for a lot of the sunset evenings, I'm just gonna be wearing like shorts and a t-shirt. But let's say I'm going somewhere cute for a little night out. This is my holy grail romper as well. It's kind of hard to see, but it has like a bit of an open back. I got this on sale at Urban Outfitters and I wear it so much on my travels to walk around the city. If I'm like sightseeing with like a cute pair of sneakers, I could wear this out to dinner with black sandals. If it gets a little chilly, I can like throw a little thing on top. But yeah, I always bring this with me on pretty much all of my travels. Um, and then I will also wear my fanny pack, of course. This is my go-to. I wear this every time I travel to hold all of my smaller items like phone, cash, passport, all of those things. So. Yeah, this also kind of dupes as a little purse. Super stylish, I know. And this is the Max Top brand, if you are curious. So that's everything for my dream day. Obviously, I may not be doing all of those things in one day, but it's just good to kind of think about it that way. What are the activities that you're definitely going to be doing on this trip and pick specific outfits for that. So you're being really intentional. So the next thing we're going to pull is for our most important day. Now these are specific activities that you have planned for your trip that you know you need to specifically pack for. So I have a few, obviously I'm going to be there for like two to three months. So I had a little quick brain dump of, okay, I know I'm doing this hike. I know I'm going to go here to this Island. I'm going to go to some Balinese temples, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna pull out some outfits specifically for those activities and show you what I bring. Okay, so let's start with the sunrise hike to Mount Batur. Obviously, it starts super early, so it doesn't get super hot this time of year in Bali, but I will probably wear these leggings from Outdoor Voices. I actually have it as a set, so with this little sports bra, and then I'll wear this big hoodie on top until it gets hot and then I can tie it around my waist. I didn't bring a hoodie on my last trip to Mexico. I brought like a little sweatshirt, but honestly it makes such a difference to have like a big cozy hoodie. Even if you're going somewhere really warm, it's just nice to have this, especially when you're traveling. So spoiler, I'm definitely gonna be wearing this on the plane to Bali, so I won't have to pack this because it is kind of bulky. Yeah, I'll probably wear this on the early morning hikes that I do when it's a little bit chilly. So that's what I'll wear for that hike. Also with my sneak sneakers with these and another pair of socks. I'm also going to be visiting a lot of different islands and going snorkeling and exploring. So I wanted to bring a few more bikinis. I have two more here. This is just like a super basic one that also this would be a good surfing bikini if I choose to do any surfing. It's pretty durable, stays on. Also same with this actually. I just got this one so it still has the tags but this little orange number. So I'll bring that for the snorkeling island explorers. And to wear over top of the bikinis on these adventures, I'll probably wear this cute little blue pair of shorts, which actually is basically the same pair as the pink ones. So I actually just ordered these because they're really comfortable. They're like these paper bag shorts, super flowy and airy, good in hot climates. And they go with a lot. It's kind of has like a jean color. I'll probably go on my adventures wearing this the bikini and probably the yellow little button down. I do have another one I'm considering bringing if I have room. I'll show you what it is. I brought it on past trips and I wear it literally all the time. So I'm really considering bringing it. This is it. It is a really loose, like kind of linen material button down. It's very light. I got it at Target and maybe I'll put this in the maybe pile. Like if I have like a decent amount of room in my cubes, I will put this in. So I'll put that to the side, but I hope I can bring it because I know I'll wear it a lot. And then the next thing that I'm 100% going to be doing quite a few times is visiting Balinese temples. Again, this is why the system is so great because you're really thinking ahead of what specifically you're doing on your itinerary and you can look and research in advance if there is some kind of dress code. So for the Balinese temples, you do have to have your shoulders and your knees covered for both men and women. So 
This is another one of my travel staples. It's this turquoise maxi dress. Super comfy, has like pretty much t-shirt material. And then another staple, you guys have seen this, is this oh, yellow floral cardigan. Um, it's really beautiful in photos, but it also just works to throw on top of like almost any outfit. It just makes it a little more fun, but this is also really great for temples because yeah, you just wanna cover those shoulders. So I will be bringing this. This is just a fun little accessory I like to bring as well, this cute headband. And then another thing I am gonna try and fit in my bag is this little tote. I got this in Oaxaca City. This is just nice to wear when you're sightseeing. Just have it, it goes with a lot of things that I own. This will go in the maybe pile as well. I'm definitely hoping to fit it. I feel like I'll be able to. And then these aren't necessarily important days, but they are days that will be happening quite frequently. And that is working in the co-work or at a cafe I just want to bring a few more things so that I can switch up my outfits a little bit. So the last pair of shorts I am bringing are these like kind of Bermuda style denim shorts that are cut off. I thrifted these as well, but they are Princess Polly. And I have these tank tops. There's, I think, five. You can see how small they are. I have this little white crop that goes with literally everything. And this is actually another really good one to throw on top of a bikini. I also have this orange one. I have this cute top. Again, you want to be bringing things that you know will go with a variety of outfits. You don't want to just have like a one-off thing unless it makes sense. But ideally, you have clothes that will work for a variety of occasions and with different pieces. So again, I have another one of these teeny tiny tank tops that will go with all of my shorts. And lastly, this black one that I always bring goes with everything. I'm going to bring those. I'm fairly confident they will all fit, but I'll keep you posted. So that is everything for my most important day or days. And the last thing we're going to pull is for our travel day. So let me grab that. Okay, so for travel day, I always like to wear pants. In the past, I have been bringing these white joggers, but I kind of want to switch it up on this trip. I recently got these parachute pants. They're so comfortable and they're actually a lot lighter than the joggers that I have worn in the past, which is going to be nice for Bali. It's really hot and humid there this time of year. So definitely going to be wearing this on the flight with this comfy black t-shirt that goes with everything. I wanna be comfortable on the plane, but I also will wear this with like all of my shorts if I wanna just be a little comfier one day. So this and then the hoodie, like I mentioned. Do these match very well? No, but I don't really care. I don't care. So that's what I'm going to be wearing with my sneakers and then my trusty fanny pack. Of course, I always put my phone, passport, cash in here, like I said, chapstick, hand sanitizer, all the things. So that will be my travel outfit so I can put all of this to the side because none of this will be taking up any space in my bag, just on my body. One thing you don't wanna forget about as you're packing is things that you're bringing on the flight. So obviously we have our travel day outfit planned, but you also wanna think about things you're bringing on the plane. So I will obviously be bringing my Kindles to read. I actually just got a little neck pillow. So this I can actually tie on my camera bag. I have the Brevity Jumper. This is always my personal item, it fits underneath the seat in front of me. So so in here, I will keep my Kindle. I will keep my eye mask. This is just a little eye mask that I have, as well as all of my tech and camera gear as well. There's a laptop sleeve out here. I love this bag so much. And then as far as the neck pillow goes, I will probably just tie it on the outside, like right here. But like I said, the church packing system covers all of this. So make sure you download it in the description below for free. Yeah. And it really helps to kind of cross all your T's, dot all your I's. So that's why I love it. Okay. So we have pretty much all of our essentials, which is such great peace of mind. The next thing that is on the trip packing system, step two is to push packs hello, push past panic and pull what ifs. So what if it rains? What if it's a little bit chilly at night? What if I randomly go to a party or a club or something like that? And you kind of want to have those what ifs handled. So for me, there's just a few what ifs that I was thinking about. Number one, if it rains, which it is dry season in Indonesia this time of year. So I'm not going to take up space by bringing a rain jacket. I'm just going to buy a poncho there if I need it. And that's something you can definitely do. Don't feel like you have to bring every single thing in your bag. 
there are stores where you're going. If you need to buy things there, you can definitely do that. I think my main what if, after like looking at things that people do in Bali, is maybe one day I'll go to like a beach club or like a pool day party. I know those happen a decent amount in Bali. Okay, got all my things. For the potential beach club outing, I have this cute bikini. I just realized I don't have the bottoms. I will go find those, but it's a little like bougier looking. It's a fun color. And then this little cover up it packs really small. So I think it's fine to bring if I'm like feeling a little fancy, but it's like a long sleeve and it ties in the front. You know, if I'm thinking about versatility, if I go out one night, I could wear this with like a little bralette underneath. So I have this cute turquoise bralette that I love. And then the jumpsuit I was mentioning, I would wear this bralette with it as well. So it's this fun little like charcoal colored jumpsuit. It's very oversized. Please don't ask me where I got it. I I was targeted on TikTok and bought it on one of the ads. I'm gonna put this in the baby pile. I really hope I can bring it. And then like one more accessory I think would be cute to have is this little red bandana. It'll go with a lot of things that I have. I also just realized I had one more thing laid out. What if I wanna go to another yoga class? Like a lot of yoga classes and I only have one pair of these little yoga shorts that I like. So I have this little pair that I got. And if I'm thinking versatility, this is one of my most worn tank tops. It has a little shelf bra built into it. So I actually wear this as a workout shirt or like a normal tank top. I know it feels like I'm sort of packing a lot. So <laughs> let's see if we can pack all of these things. Push past panic, everyone. We're gonna be able to bring all of these things. So that leads us into step three, which is pack. So a big thing when you start packing is don't just start throwing things willy nilly into your bag. You wanna have a system about it because that way you're gonna be able to maximize the space and organize it. So these are the packing cubes I use. They're obviously from Trip Travel Gear as well. They're extremely durable. I recently started using them on my last Mexico trip and they are by far the best packing cubes I've ever owned. They are compressible as well. So you can actually zip them a second time and it makes them even tinier, which is a little dangerous, but super convenient. So I'm gonna bring three of them in different sizes. I'll show you what I pack in each in just a second. Another thing that comes with the packing cubes is this dry bag, which is going to be an absolute game changer on this Bali trip. I also use it as a little laundry bag as well when I'm not using it as a dry bag. So I'll definitely be bringing this. Tripped also has a great toiletry set that I started using. I love this because it's clear, it's TSA friendly. You can easily take it out of your bag, put it through security and yeah, it's just super convenient. So everything is going in here. Oh sunscreen can't forget that so that's the first one and then the second one is this i used to have a makeup bag that i would have to sift through it was pretty much like this except it wasn't clear and it was just really hard to organize everything so with this i can unzip it hang it up wherever i'm staying and i can easily root through it so down here is where i put my makeup in here i put like my little moisturizers chapstick this section i hold all like medicine sunscreen stuff like that and then up here i actually realized i forgot to add in sunglasses so i'm bringing these two pairs and I'm gonna put them in this little mesh pocket and I'm gonna show you how magical this thing is this is what it looks like when it's nice and open and this is what it looks like when I zip it on up. All of my toiletries are in these two bad boys. Love that for me. Okay, so here we have everything laid out on the bed. And like I mentioned before, we're not just gonna throw everything in the bag without any sort of system. So the church packing system recommends that you lay everything out informal on the left to more formal on the right. And then you put your tops on top, your bottoms on bottom, and then your shoes on the floor. That way we're able to really organize everything into our packing cubes. So I'm gonna get organized organizing real quick. And we're going to be rolling everything like this. This really helps to maximize the space. satisfying. I love it so much. I actually ended up doing formal to informal, but still the same. So right here, we have my bikinis. Here we have bra, underwear, socks, bralettes. Here we have things like the towel, day pack, my hat, accessories. Over here, this is my romper, jumpsuit, maxi dress section. These are kind of like my oversized throw overs, cardigans. Here are all of my tank tops and shirts. And then I actually forgot to record this as well, but uh, I forgot pajamas. We can't forget pajamas. So pajama pants here and a big giant t-shirt. I can't survive without one of those. Here we have my three pairs of shorts and here we have all of my workout Gear. Oh, and then right here, 
toiletries. Basically now all we have to do is put this into the packing cubes, which since it's already all laid out, organized, and rolled up, this is going to take me like just a few minutes, which is amazing. Oh, I forgot to show you. I also put the shoes right here on the floor. So I decided to add these pair of flip-flops as well because they're just really easy to slide on. They barely take up any space and I don't always like to wear these when I'm just lounging around because there's a strap. So it's nice to have a pair of slip-ons as well. So adding those in. All right, so we've got our three packing cubes here. I'm gonna start with the big one. Usually in the big one, I will put my biggest items, duh. So I'm gonna put all of the pullovers cause they're a bit bulky and my like dress, jumpsuit, all of that. Sometimes I'll end up putting my shorts in there as well. It just kind of depends how much room I have. And again, I love these packing cubes so much because you can really stuff everything into the corner super easily. It's built specifically for that. So I love that because usually what I'll end up having to do is zipping the packing cube up like halfway and then stuffing everything in. But with this, it's already like a little pocket. So I love that. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have some extra room here. Definitely enough room to put my shorts. That is fantastic. Zipper on up. Cube one done, move on to the second. This is like the medium size. I will put in here all of my workout gear and my tops. All right, there is so much room. So I'm gonna put my pajama pants and t-shirt in this one as well. Now that I look at it, this cube is actually the same size as the first one. So I'm probably gonna put some of my accessories in here as well, or like the bag, hat as well. And then I'll stuff the bikinis and underwear and stuff into the smallest cube because this one definitely has some room left. Perfect. Cube number two, done. Move on to the last one. Room to spare. Water bottle, I'm just gonna carry around with me in the airport so I don't have to worry about packing that. But look at this. Everything I'm bringing to Bali, all of my clothes are in here. This is my lifeline. This actually works super well. I'm almost positive this is all gonna fit into my backpack but let's find out real quick. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be packing everything into this Osprey Fairview backpack. It is the 55 liter. I just removed the detachable day pack, which I believe is about 10 to 12 liters. So this is between 40 and 45 liters, but it will definitely fit into the overhead compartment. So according to the trip travel system, you're going to want to put the heaviest items at the bottom. So let's weigh. This one feels the heaviest. Put this one in first and without fail, every single time. I always forget to put the shoes in first. Shoes go in first, let me do that. So I'm gonna make these as compact as possible. Let's put these in, there's like a mesh pocket here where I keep all of my shoes. And then next we'll put in the sandals and the sneakers we'll wear on the plane. Second cube and the last cube. So, good thing we have a lot of room in here still because we've got our toiletry items. So obviously, we're gonna wanna put this one at the very top because I'm gonna remove it and put it um, out during security. So I'm gonna put my makeup bag in first, zip that up a little bit, and then add her in. Oh my God, this is working with room to spare. Oh yeah, baby. We're packed. This is it. This is what I will be bringing with me. I'll show you what it looks like on. Okay, that is so doable and it's really not heavy at all. I'm basically going to have this as my personal item. So I'll be walking around the airport like so. I'm so excited to go to Bali. It is finally getting real. I'm just so glad that I was able to fit everything in here. I feel really good that I have everything that I need for the next two to three months in Bali. So I really hope this video was informative, helpful, and you guys seriously need to check out the trip packing system. Like I said, it's down below in the description box, totally free to download. And it's been a huge game changer in my packing and I've been traveling for years. So make sure to go check out my channel, Crosby Grace Travels, to see all of my adventures through Bali, Indonesia over the next few months. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in Bali. Bye.